Well, thank you for joining us uh, this very chilly afternoon. It's a fresh week and yet another edition of the financial markets. Uh, from midday up to one, we do the exclusive interviews and analysis. So very much uh, welcome. We have another edition yet today that is just about to start apologies for kind of starting a little late, a little bit late. But the weather is chilly, so <laughs> things are really, really not moving on well out there. You know when it shines? Yes it's better because people move easily and all that but when it rains it kind of distracts movement and so on yeah i think so it's more of uh, somebody was asking me today in the morning that why is it that there's too much traffic mm -hmm. when it rains uh, mm -hmm. around kampala mm -hmm. and i just say that my only logical understanding is that we need to overhaul our drainage system mm -hmm. some roads yeah. become like small ponds mm -hmm. Yeah. When, it when it rains yeah so it's a chilly afternoon you're very much welcome to smart 24 tv where we are driving your business my name is kevin Andera. i'll be taking you through the financial markets today and we are privileged to have dr clark at symbol again right here with us to talk about so many things as we're going to be introducing our topic of discussion this afternoon you're very much welcome thank you and a very good afternoon to all our viewers uh, at uh, Smart24 TV, both in uh, Uganda and across the world. I, I always want someone to make another introduction apart from mine because you know there are so many titles that I might leave out <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that I will need them myself and the viewer. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm called uh, Dr. Henry Clark Isembo. I'm a financial economist. I hold a PhD in financial economics, a PhD mm -hmm. in development finance. I'm a businessman, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm an investor, I'm an advisor of central banks mm -hmm. across different countries and uh, financial institutions, but also uh, businesses. I run my uh, a private company I founded 17 years ago. It operates in 59 countries and five continents. But uh, I'm also always happy to be a teacher. Uh, many call me the teacher because I coach, mentor, and also try to have conversations with people mm -hmm. about uh, uh, financial matters such that they can be able to make uh, really uh, objective and uh, rational decisions towards financial health. Okay, the Thank global you. award winner. Oh yeah, and the uh, uh, global award winner for business excellence mm -hmm. uh, 2022. Wow, well, that is great. Okay, today we are talking about your bills and bonds. Yes. It is what we want to concentrate mm -hmm. on. So many people don't understand the yeah. difference between the two, mm -hmm. the three bills and bonds. Are they the same? How do they even work here in Uganda? Yeah. Is it a good thing to invest in them? So that is definitely what we are talking about this afternoon. So Dr. Tsembo, yes. what is the difference between these two, the treasure bills yeah. and the treasure bonds? So, I think before even we go into the difference, let us first uh, demystify this whole treasury bills and bonds, and bonds for our viewers out there because I know that we have a, a, a diverse audience, those in the corporate world, in business, mm. the informal sector, mm. quite a number of them. And uh, I want to demystify and say that uh, uh, these are not uh, like very rocket science kind of operations, mm -hmm. no. It is uh, simply a, a tag names mm -hmm. which are given to um, financial transactional uh, objects or, or papers. Mm -hmm. So just to say that uh, like you have money, maybe 1,000 shillings or 5,000 shillings or one dollar or two dollars, uh, same applies the way you understand it and you know the value of it, mm -hmm. same applies to the to treasury the bills, bills and, and the bonds. bonds. Mm -hmm. Now here is where it becomes uh, uh, a little bit uh, more into the technical mm -hmm. is that uh, uh, treasury bills are, are more of uh, date papers actually if you went to a bank and you asked uh, they t you, you went to ask for treasury bills mm -hmm. and they brought you uh, a f forms to fill you paid the money which I'll talk about later mm -hmm. and they give you a paper the paper in your mind you'll be like my money is worth this paper, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So basically, you just say that uh, it's more of um, a debt papers which mm -hmm. are issued by, uh, by government, mm -hmm. uh, uh, commissioned by the central bank, but also delivered by uh, uh, commercial banks uh, or banks regulated by the central bank mm -hmm. to the public. 
The reason for this is uh, because uh, government or the treasury needs to raise financing. Yeah. In June, we're going to be seeing the budget. Uh, we're going to hear the budget reading. Yeah. But uh, a lot of this money has to be mobilized from the general public. Yeah. That is what we normally call um, uh, domestic direct investment or domestic resource mobilization. So when I come to you, Kevin, and uh, with the treasury bill, maybe I'm coming from whatever bank it is, mm. uh, and say that, could you invest maybe one million shillings into treasury bills, which means that uh, your, in, your, your investment is actually your lending to government, to, government. to be able to pursue its, uh, its activities mm. towards social services and all that it has promised uh, the country for that year. Mm. While the bonds, the bonds on the other hand is the other way around, that uh, it's more, as much as the treasury bills is more of lending to the government, to the government. or let's say a, a, a corporate for that matter, mm. the bonds is more of raising debt. So it's like uh, once we talk about uh, bonds, we may talk about bond uh, guarantees, uh, sovereign guarantees, these are bonds. So it's more of like, I, Clark, needs uh, some amount of money, say uh, uh, 10 million dollars mm. to do a business. The business is very viable, but uh, I need a guarantee. So I'll just go get a bond, and then this bond should act as a guarantee towards the money I'm going to borrow. So it comes in as debt, you see? Yeah. Yeah, so it's more of raising debt whereas the other one is more of lending. Mm. Yeah. So how do those treasury bills like work? So what happens is mm. that um, a treasury bill, the treasury bills have a certain uh, minimum. Mm. And the minimum in Uganda, I think currently is uh, 100,000. That is what I was actually going to get to. Yeah. Like every country has its own. Yeah, every country has its own. Yeah. And, uh, when we look at Uganda, it has come to 100,000, mm. which means that uh, uh, considering what we've been through in the past three years, mm. and also considering uh, the, the large growth of the youth population, uh, so it is at 100,000, which is relatively affordable yeah. for, one treasury, for one treasury bill. Yeah, so you just walk into uh, uh, nominated commercial banks, mm. uh, any, any of the commercial banks mostly, which I see around Kampala, uh, they do treasury bills. So you ask the customer service that uh, I need to understand more about treasury, treasury bills, bills and how much do I have to pay. They'll yeah. tell you the minimum is 100,000. Mm -hmm. You can pay, you can buy treasury bills uh, uh, as much as you can afford, but uh, the minimum is 100,000. Mm -hmm. So when you get this 100,000 in, you find that uh, you negotiate a rate. Mm. that uh, at the end of the day I've given you my 100,000 what do I gain mm. because I'm not I'm not putting in my 100,000 mm. and after three months or six months or I get nine, 100, I come and collect 100,000 no. it will be like I put my money under a pillow mm. and then left it there and come back and so like when you're purchasing the treasury bills you're like you're investing it's, it's more of an investment yeah, because it's an uh, investment, so like you have to get the interest yeah i think the interest rate right now for mm. the central bank is at about uh 6.54 mm. which is relatively good yeah considering uh what's happening in the economy it's relatively good and one thing that uh, our viewers should also take note of is that uh, if you're looking for the least risky investment in this world, mm. go for treasury, treasury bills. Treasury bills. It's like, you, you, you'll never lose your money. Yeah, you're literally lending to government, even if, even if, okay, even if the government changes. Yeah, if the regime changes, a, the, a government will continue yeah. to, to govern a country. And you'll get your money back. Yeah, you'll get the, your money back. Yeah, with the interest. With the interest. Yeah, yeah. according yeah. to the Memorandum of Understanding. Yeah, according to the Memorandum of them. Understanding, mm. but also according to the protocols that govern uh, treasury bills and bonds uh, in the sovereignty of a country like Uganda. Mm. Because they are laws. Yeah. Mm. So you, you, it's one of those least risky, though it comes... If you told me... 6.54 
is the interest I'm gaining on my money. Mm. It depends on what kind of business person I am. Mm -mm. I may be one who is risk averse and I could go for that as long as I don't lose. Mm. Yeah. If you tell 6.54 to another person who says that I'm putting let's say 100 million Uganda shillings, mm. yeah, Uganda shillings, and they're like you're giving them 6.54 after a certain time, they'll say no. That will not work. That right. will not work. So those mm. are they are high risk people. Yeah. They would rather say I'm putting in my money. I would I can lose it. Mm. I'm ready to lose it, but I'm going for 20 plus. Mm. So that, that, that's how they work. The bonds, mm. the bonds is mostly for, for, for large amounts of money and business. Because if you're going to borrow money, uh, say from uh, foreign direct investment from investors, mm. or even domestic uh, mobilization of resources, they'll ask you that, where is your guarantee? Then you'll say that maybe uh, it's an insurance guarantee, or it's a bank guarantee, or it's a bond guarantee. Mm. So they'll say, who has issued it so the gov you say the government which becomes a sovereign guarantee when you become a sovereign guarantee any investor out there trusts a sovereign guarantee more than any other guarantee you can ever think about mm. it's just like the treasury bills that this government will go will change the sovereign guarantee it issued you see today we are paying some of the dates our four forefathers took in the other go in the other government. In the other government. Yeah. But we are paying. Yeah. Even our children mm. may end up paying. Even our grandchildren and may the rest. End up paying, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So uh, the the treasury bills, is it a good investment that you would tell someone to invest into? Honestly, like I said uh, that uh, it all varies. For a starting investor, mm. you're going into investment and you're just starting out. I would recommend treasury bills because you don't want to start on a bad note in investment. No, of course. Because starting on a bad note, it can kill your morale. Mm. It will take you time to ever recover from that loss. Mm -hmm. So instead of going to for high risk investments, better you uh, focus on the treasury bills because you will learn how investments work. Because they even give you uh, uh, leaflets, mm. you read, you can research more about uh, the treasury bills. That also builds your confidence. So for me, as an in, as an investor and also an investment advisor, I would say that uh, treasury bills is a good investment. Mm. That if you have money, uh, invest it in treasury bills. You know, there is a saying that if you have one million shillings. The moment you remove one shilling, it is not. It's gone. It's not one million. You, you won't realize how it yeah. went. Mm. So better you put it in treasury bills, mm. get this low interest. But with time, you gain uh, confidence, experience, and then you go for other bigger investments. The, the the interest rate of the treasury bills does it differ? Like according to the amount of money you're injecting. Uh, like maybe I'm putting a hundred thousand. Uh, maybe someone is putting a hundred millions. Does, does uh, the interest differ according to what I would what say that uh, that is uh, an area of negotiation, mm -hmm. but it's normally compounded because uh, there is a standard interest rate, and uh, at times you may find yourself going into uh, negotiations mm -hmm. because, uh, like, uh, I was today I was uh, actually uh, I was just discussing treasury bills and bonds with some people, mm -hmm. and uh, you see that the treasury rate. Uh, may be at 1.93 compared to 1.94 1, 1, 1. Mm. but uh, there, back to your question and answering it is that uh, according to Uganda government bonds mm. or yields curve you'll find that uh, um, in six months you could accrue probably 10.64 in one year 9.8 and in two years about 10.4 so it all varies. Mm. It's not more on to the amount because it's on the period, it's on the period that you, that you, that you, you, you take. Because uh, initially, treasury bills used to go for one year, two year, mm -hmm. but now even three months. Three months, mm. you, you can just put by treasury bill, put in your money. Mm. At three months, you say, My tenure is done, yeah. my money my and money, my, interest. my interest. Yeah. So 
it depends on the period. The longer the period, the more you're going, the to, more you're going to get. But also remember, mm. the more the money you invest, the higher the value yeah. that you're going to get out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So I think you really have to put in a little more patience when you're <laughs> dealing with a treasure. Yeah, I think uh, if you have some, some uh, money, uh, let's say residual or money which is just there, you, you may not need to use it. Like for instance, let's take an example. Uh, kids or children going to school got holidays about uh, two weeks ago? Yeah. Or two this weeks is ago? the second week, I guess. Yeah, I think, guess this is probably third week. Third We're week. in the third week, yeah. Okay. So they will be going back probably end of May. Now, some parents have the school fees already. Yeah. Or the tuition. Even by the time the children go to the holidays. Yeah, they already had tuition for they the had next They had tuition for the next term. Yeah. So they could choose to pay the money to the institution, maybe the school, mm. and then they say, I'm relieved of that stress. Mm. Oh, get this money, put it into treasury uh, bills. By the time these kids are going back to school. By the time the kids school, are going back to school. There is some money. Yeah, some common money, a little money which has been added on. Yeah. And uh, you've made some money of your money. Mm -hmm. But again, also for institutions, uh, I normally go to talk to institutions. I tell them, what is the use of having millions or billions on, account, on an account seated on a school fees or tuition account? Why don't you get this money and put it into treasury bills? Because it will generate more money. Yeah. You've had schools, schools saying that they need some time to pay off loans and all that. Mm -hmm. And in my mind, I'm like that Uganda real needs practical financial analysts and advisors who are not only PhD holders or they went to school, but people who are into business. Yeah. Because my thinking from my PhD mm. at times is different from my thinking as an investor. As an investor. As an investor, I'm thinking that a school holding huge amounts of money on an account does not make logical sense to me. They would rather put it into treasury bills. And then it generates. Mm. You see? Instead of money sitting there on fixed accounts, you see? Then they wouldn't be going all the way struggling to come out of COVID-19 mm. uh, yeah, uh, issues. Maybe it could have mitigated some of the yeah, challenges. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess uh, that works out. Another other thing is uh, leaving mm. out even those big institutions and so on, mm. even as people, as an individual. Are you aware mm. you can uh, use money anyhow, like within a week? It is. It, it is very possible. I've yeah. been uh, coaching uh, over the last week about uh, uh, financial literacy mm -hmm. and uh, I purposely chose to start with the uh, insurance mm -hmm. so on all my blogs my charts and everything I was all about insurance because I was like okay let us start by insuring what you have mm -hmm. once you understand what insurance is let us go to personal financial management if a hundred thousand you see it even if a, a shoe is, uh, is going to lose its soul after the first party you attend, you'll buy it. Mm -hmm. yeah. If the money is not at your disposal, mm -hmm. you've locked it somewhere for three months, uh, you say, the money is gone, let yeah. me defer. Yeah. But in deferring the purchase, is like you're trying to avoid the risk. Mm -hmm. So even we as individuals, uh, uh, to gain financial health, and financial health I mean a situation where where you know that you are going to have a meal today, tomorrow, the other day, your children will go to school, even their children are potentially catered for mm -hmm. because of you, you see, but money in the hands, you see it, you, you think that as it comes, as it goes, tomorrow mm -hmm. I'll get others, have you had, uh, uh, and I'll translate it, that uh, Basilia Chivubi, Basilia Chivubi is like, that fishermen, mm. because the money comes and tomorrow they'll get more fish and get money, mm. uh, they just so spend they just recklessly. Spend it all. Yeah, yeah, so 
you get to dance and it all because yeah, you know the next day yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but that's not how they generate wealth. I think that's not how it works yeah, so I many people I think need to get to get to understand some of these things mm -hmm. I don't think it's really a big thing that you go to the bank to to get the treasury bills it's something so small you just walk into the bank and get this hey, but so many the times and ask, yeah. ask the banks uh, have, have really improved in their customer service mm -hmm. they now think about customer experience because mm -hmm. back in the days you could walk into the bank and you the money owner it's like the bank is doing you a favor mm -hmm. with the with the coming up of fintechs and so many alternatives banks now have realized what customer service means yeah the client even if they're in slippers mm -hmm. They have the money. Yeah, they have the money. Which pays the salary. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah they do. So many times we do use money recklessly. Yeah. I think we need to interest ourselves in the treasury bills. Because so many times we really, really spend like recklessly. Mm. And uh, yet that money can give you something. And by the end of the day, you even, you're like, I don't even have a business at hand or something. But yet you have money that you can invest in the treasury bills and you can get uh, something out of them. Now, the other thing that I want you know because as we invest yeah. any investment has risks yes can you lose money on treasury bills is it possible it is possible but very minimally possible if we went into percentages I think it would be like a zero point zero 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 <laughs> Uh, maybe uh, one mm. percent. Okay. Uh, how that, how that does you, it come that you would lose? That you would lose money. Mm. Uh, you remember the the global recession of uh, of the two thousand eight two thousand nine or the credit crunch? Credit crunch. You, you ever heard of that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah where uh, monies were losing value, monies were losing value because the asset base was also the economies were doing badly mm. once economies are doing badly which means that uh, your interest rate also goes down and the worst is if inflation is raising and it also comes for the the safest investment which are treasury bills but chances are a, a risk of loss is very very very, very micro minimal mm. like almost insignificant mm. compared to any other any investment. Other investment you can invest in a tomato store hundred thousand you invest in tomatoes fruits vegetables you may lose more than investing in treasure bills mm. yeah so it is more safer or oh, it is the safest investment that someone safest. can ever i've have. researched have, mm. have, research and try to understand investments and invested also mm. but i find treasury bills the safest mm. yes because you're protected by the law by yeah government. you're protected by government yeah government yeah. protects you mm. yeah. and even if anything happened to the government that is uh, in power you would definitely have your monies yeah you have your monies it yeah. may take just quite a little bit of time mm. but uh, also uh, your, your money is there let mm. me tell you something that our viewers may maybe be interested in too. Mm. If you have a hundred million shillings on your account in the bank, right? Yeah. And that bank gets a problem, it closes. Mm. The only amount you're ever going to get back is 10 million. Okay. If you had a hundred million. Yeah. And it closes. Mm -hmm. You get ten million. Yes. Have you heard of the the fund? They call it uh, the Ghana Credit Fund or something like that. Uh, yeah, I'll try to recall. So, uh, all banks by law are members of that fund. Mm -hmm should and they are, and they deposit certain money into the fund mm. controlled by the central bank mm. so to start a bank at least uh, what i know is that you must have like two two billion mm. in there in the reserve mm. to say that now I, I have a bank there must be two billion 
Okay. If the bank closes, mm -hmm. they'll come for this first. But to, there is no guarantee to any customer anywhere, and this is not to kill business for banks or financial <laughs> institutions. Mm -hmm. If you have a hundred million Uganda shillings on a bank account and a bank closed, mm -hmm. God forbid, mm -hmm. you're getting back 10 million Uganda shillings. That's the best they can compensate. Okay, very interesting topic right here, but uh, we have less time, just mm -hmm. microseconds to be out of this place. So definitely you would just say in just seconds, yes. just seconds, the very last word to the viewer. Investment is uh, the pathway to financial health. Uh, start cautiously, start small, go into treasury bills because they are the least risky investment. Then uh, as, as you learn along the way, you can also grow your portfolio, whether still in the treasury bills or expound and diversify in other channels. Thank you for being our viewers. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming through. We're here to have so many editions of the financial markets where we analyze a lot of things about markets, bonds, stocks, and so much more. Yeah. We're going to have news that is at exactly 1 p.m. in Luganda, so stay tuned to Smart Trade for TV.